In my previous video, I showed you how to use the random method. In this video, I'll show you how to use the random method to shuffle an array of movie clip objects. If you're not familiar with arrays, may I suggest you view my video series on arrays, particularly the video titled How to Create an Array of Movie Clip Objects. I'll begin a new ActionScript 3 project, which I'll name Shuffle Cards. I'll open my library panel. Here you can see I've already created four movie clips to represent the four cards in my deck. In my Symbol Properties panel, under the section titled Action Script Linkage, I've checked the boxes Export for Action Script and Export in Frame 1 for each of my movie clips. On the stage, I've added a green push button, which I've named BTN Green. I'll open my Actions panel. I'll import Flash Events to enable my applications to respond to a button click. Using the constructor method, I'll create a new instance for each of my four movie clip objects. Then I'll create an array of these movie clip objects, which I'll name Source Deck. Next, I'll create an empty array, which will contain the shuffled cards. I'll name this array Shuffled Deck. I'm going to place the cards in a row on the stage, so the Y values will remain constant. But the X values will be different for each card. So I'm going to create an array of X values that will allow me to position each card as I loop through the arrays. I'll name this array X values. When my application starts, I want all the cards to appear on the stage in their unsorted order. I'll create a function to do this which I'll call place cards. Then I'll create a for loop to loop through each element in the source deck array. First, I'll add the child object. Next, I'll set the object's x value according to the value stored in the x values array. And then I'll set the object's y value. I'll call this function when the application starts like this. Now I'll test my application to see if the cards have been placed properly on the stage. They have. My next step is to shuffle the cards. This will be a three-step process. First, I'll remove the original cards from the stage. Second, I'll shuffle the cards. Third, I'll place the shuffled cards back on the stage. I'll write three functions to do this. You may wish to combine these steps into one function, but I'll use three functions for illustration. I'll name my first function remove cards. I'll use the same for loop I used before. Inside this loop, I'll add just one line of code. This will remove each card that is child object from the stage. The second function will shuffle the cards, and I'll name this function shuffle cards. I'll create a while loop, which will continue as long as there are elements remaining in the source deck array. First, I'll set R to represent the index value for the elements in the source deck array. Then I'll use the random method to generate a random value based on the number of cards remaining in the source deck array and assign this value to R. Next, I'll insert element R into the shuffle deck array from the source deck array using the push method. Finally, I'll remove element R from the source deck array using the splice method. The loop will continue until there are no elements remaining in the source deck array. The third function will place the shuffled cards on the stage. I'll name this function place shuffled cards. I'll use the same for loop I used in the first function. Then I'll add a child object based on the element in the shuffle deck array. Next, I'll set the object's x value according to the value stored in the x values array 
and set the object's Y value. I'll create one more function to call these three functions in sequential order. I'll name this function Show Shuffled Cards. First, I'll remove the original cards from the stage. Second, I'll create the Shuffled Cards array. And third, I'll place the shuffled cards on the stage. Finally, I'll add an event listener for the green button. I'll test my application again. I'll click on the green button, and the cards have been rearranged. In my next video, I'll show you how to extract random objects from an array. To learn more, visit my website at LarryStimson.com.